how are you? I hope you are well. Um, my name is Jasmine Kyleen, uh, and I do weekly or bi-weekly astro updates, and this is one of them. And I didn't know if I was going to do one this week because I didn't, I mean, obviously there's a lot going on, but I was just kind of, hi, thank you for joining. Um, but I knew there was a lot going on, but I was kind of like, oh, you know, they'll figure it out. Wait, am I on the right account? Am I on Jasmine or am I on La Luna? Okay, I'm on the right one. Okay, great. Um, but with Venus moving into the sign of Taurus, I was like, I just have to come on and talk a little bit about it because I'm like so, I'm obsessed with this transit and I feel like it's the best, um, if we know how to work with it, it can be like the best 24 days of our lives. Thank you so much. They are from a store called Moon Trip Market. They're great. Yeah, so let's talk about it. So the first thing that I want to acknowledge is like what we've been experiencing thus far, which is we just came out of that new moon in Aries. Um, we had a ton of transits that may have either made us feel really depleted or really energized, depending on where it hit you in your chart. But ultimately, a lot of like inner child healing was coming up. I feel like that was kind of the collective theme. But we are moving into such a different energy right now, especially because we've had Venus in the sign of Aries for a very long time. Obviously, Venus transits for about like three weeks. So, you know, that energy was much more impulsive. We were probably feeling moody we were probably feeling a bit like we couldn't really communicate or that we were a bit irrational with our emotions and now moving into the sign of taurus obviously with it being the planet of venus which is how we relate it's how we nurture it's also how we relate to ourselves and how we nurture others the dynamic is going to shift entirely and it just it's like such i don't know if you guys can feel it what was that sunday girl listen i'm lucky to be alive today the past like three days i was just out emotionally so i'm just excited because i feel like i physically felt this shift and with it being a sign of Taurus, there are so many important themes that are getting highlighted. And the main one, and Michelle, I'm so happy you're here for this because you've really brought this theme like to the forefront for me, but it's pleasure. Honestly, it's the way that we honor, the way that we prioritize, and the way that we relate to pleasure. You know, Taurus rules a lot of different themes, but one of its main aspects is a way that it allows itself to enjoy. And I feel like sometimes we can get very trapped in the conditioning of okay, well, I need to be productive and I need to make sure that I earn my right to enjoy pleasure and I earn my right to indulge in the luxuries of existing. And so with Venus and Taurus, it's coming back to what does it mean to honor and prioritize and come from a place of like, that feels good, that nourishes me on a spiritual, physical and emotional level and I'm going to continue to follow that. This is a beautiful time to come back to what does consulting with my body mean in terms of like, you know, does this feel right? Does this sit well with my body? Does this feel good on my skin? Does this feel good in my heart? It's a beautiful time to really, really, really just get clear on like, what is pleasure for you? And yes, that is something that can be taken on a sexual level. Absolutely. Really coming out of a space of like sex being, you know, performative or sex being a task and coming back to like, am I feeling good? And how can I make sure that I feel good? How can I take aligned action to make sure I'm always feeling good? But also just like the way that we relate to pleasure on every other level, you know, are you sitting presently with your meals? Are you, you know, present when you're doing your nighttime routine? Are you listening to music and actually really taking in every ounce of it, you know, every lyric, every sound, every melody. Are you reading new books? Are you writing? Are you really just coming from a space of like, there is so much to enjoy in this lifetime and I need to allow myself to enjoy it because I think that like I mentioned, we can get so trapped in sort of like this systemic conditioning of, of going and doing that, you know, Taurus is all about slowing down and taking in. So over the course of these next 24 days, I would strongly, strongly advise you to really prioritize what it means to show up and honor and play with pleasure. So, you know, taking more time, allotting it within your schedule to do what that means for you. I was journaling on it this morning um, during our mindfulness session and I just, I wrote down like, you know, what does pleasure mean to me and how does pleasure show up for me? And it really meant, you know, like coming back to dance and the fact that dance is a way that I feel intimate with my body and intimate with music. So I'm going to make sure that like I dance every day these next 24 days. Reading has been highlighted. Yes, read same, same. I'm reading the book from our book club and it's like, I'm enjoying so much letting my mind play. And that's it. It's also about like, there's a lot of different aspects that I'll get to, but like when it comes to the romanticism of Taurus, it's really important that right now we utilize this time to not only be more intentional with how we experience pleasure and romance and like our external relationships, but most importantly, how we experience it within our relationship with ourselves. So now is an important time to date yourself a little bit, making sure that you are dressing up for yourself, making sure that you're really 
present that you talk to your skin when you're doing putting on your lotions or your oils or whatever the case may be and just being as present as intentional as you can with like what do I need? Doing body scans every single morning and asking different parts of your body, your hands, your stomach, your mind, your heart, like what is it that you need? What does pleasure look like for you right now? And maybe pleasure means laying in bed and like binge watching YouTube videos for like seven hours and like that's iconic. I was just thinking this morning that I need to slow down and enjoy myself. Absolutely. One thing is that before I get to that, because that's a really important point, um, I would strongly advise you guys to wear red and orange over the course of this next month. Um, obviously, I'm like all about the colors, honey, so work with whatever one calls you. But as far as like chakras and like energy centers go, sacral and root are like huge right now. So really incorporate those into like your body adornment is going to be awesome. But yes, as far as patience goes, the reason why I titled this, I think I did like pleasure, patience and what was the last one? I don't know what the last one was. Remind me if you can see it. But <laughs> patience is really important because Taurus is all about moving slow. And so right now when we're moving forward, right, especially coming out of that airy season that was so like dynamic and forward moving, it's all about like, how can I make sure that yes, I am taking aligned action with what it is that I desire. Yes, I am going step by step. Oh, thank you, Keeks. Yes, presence. I'll talk about that as well. Absolutely. But you know, with patience, it's like, how can I trust that the universe is filling in the gaps in between. How can I trust that I don't need to rush there? I don't need to figure out and squeeze out the end result of my experience, but rather I can indulge and be present with what the journey looks like step by step, right? So knowing what you're walking towards and making sure that yes, especially because we have Jupiter and Mars and, and the sun sort of playing an element of like, I'm having some ideas that I want to play into. So like follow that, but recognize the fact that you don't need to rush to the ending um, because then you miss the whole point. I always say that. So really being intentional with, you know, us being in this Taurus energy, also the moon right now is in Taurus, what it means to take things slow, to eat our meals slower, to not rush through getting through a book just because you have a deadline or, you know, um, rushing through your morning routine because you have something to do. What does it mean to just do life a bit more slower, a bit more intentionally, a bit more presently? And taking notice of the things that you see when that does happen, right? The things that you notice when you are present with every step and with every movement. Um, and what else? Yeah, so patience and presence are like really important right now. It's just such, it's such a good time to really indulge in like the colors, the taste, the sensations, really stimulating every sense that we have, every sensory point that we have, just really being intentional with like, what do I want to taste right now? What do I want to see right now? What does my physical environment need? What do I want to hear? What music, what sounds? Really just being intentional with our senses. And um, lastly, but I think what's also really important is that Taurus rules our relationship with the material world and our finances. So if you're calling in prosperity in any sort of degree, um, now is a beautiful time. I keep saying now is a beautiful time, but it just is a beautiful time, guys, to write down what it is that you want. And to even get specific, like put some numbers in there, put some experiences, put some sensations in what it is that you're manifesting for yourself. Write it down, especially today because of the fact that the moon is in Taurus and I believe Jupiter. What is Jupiter doing? Yeah, Jupiter is trying Mars right now. So this is like such a good opportunity to really like write down and solidify how you want to indulge in life. And that means financially, that means, you know, through your social experiences, through the ways in which you relate to your own self. Just get clear, write it down. If you can, write it down in orange or red ink. Wear those colors. And just make sure that over the next 24 days, you come back to what does it mean to be with myself intimately? What does it mean to deepen my intimacy with myself and deepen my intimacy with life, right? I think when we're so used to rushing through life, we miss what is meant to be enjoyed on the way there. So eat some yummy foods, dance, do all of the things. I'm trying to see if I have any other points to make but those are the main ones obviously romance is a beautiful thing right now so if you have a boo thing or if you're looking for one um sort of reviving what that relationship is or deepening and being communicative about like what is it that you need and like how you can squeeze pleasure out of that um which of course on a sexual level but also like i said just like on an emotional level what does it feel what feels pleasing to you and how can you make sure that you're prioritizing it and that you feel deserving of pleasure that's another thing i think sometimes we can get into the role of like catering and making sure everyone else feels good and making sure that there's no discomfort on any external level but like what does it mean to make sure that that same energy is being reciprocated what does it mean to define what pleasure is and speak up on what pleasure is for you and yeah, if you guys have any like specific questions, please let me know before I hop off. But otherwise, 
however you're feeling is totally normal because I'm I'm like grateful to be alive today but the past two days I was like so over it um inner child healing has been a theme like I said so a lot of stuff has come up but we're kind of moving out of that a little bit kind of closing the chapter on like I mean obviously inner child healing will always be a part of our every single days but the focus right now is more so sensuality and making sure that sensuality is at the forefront of every single day and not something that's exclusive to um, physical intimacy, but rather just like how we relate to life, how we show up with the movies that we consume, with the ways in which we explore our own bodies and show up to our own bodies. And yeah, so that's basically it. If anyone's commenting anything, I can't see it because my like thing timed out. But otherwise, I'm sending you all my love. If you want any journaling prompts, uh, here are some to work with. Which of my senses deserve more of my attention, right? So like which does this affect certain signs more or just everyone generally? So if you have any major fixed placements, which is um, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio, if you have any of those main placements or any of those signs, any major placements, so sun, moon, rising, you're especially going to feel this and also your Venus. But uh, honestly, this is such a collective shift that this is an overall theme, but like you're really going to feel the shift if you have those. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining. So yeah, so like I said, journaling prompts, if you want to work with this, you know, what, which of my senses deserve more of my attention, right? Which parts of me feel like they need a bit more intention? Like, am I seeing enough of what I want to see? Am I hearing enough of what I want to hear? Am I tasting the foods I want to taste? Taurus rising. This is a time for you, baby. Hit me up personally. We'll talk about it. Um... And what ways do I experience pleasure and how can I honor it deeper is another great journaling prompt. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So I send you guys all of my love. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Enjoy yourself. Go eat something yummy. Go dance. Bye.